So hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Dream Interpretation where I interpret your guys' dreams every week. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be interpreting a short dream from Emma. So if you guys would like to send me your dreams, make sure to send them at my email, which is dreaminterpretation2020 at gmail.com and I'll have that right here and also down below in the description. Make sure to check that description if you guys want to send me your dream because I actually have a checklist included in the description detailing what you need to include in your dream email. All right, so let's get started with the video. So I had a dream that I was in a field of grass and there was a boy that was holding the Bible and it was a little bit misty and foggy. And he was talking and I couldn't really hear him and he was pointing at the Bible like he was trying to warn me. And then after I saw a blood moon. All right, so right from the start, I actually get that this is a warning dream. So what Holy Spirit is showing you in this dream is, is that as soon as you saw the the young man, I think, or the boy with the Bible, that's Holy Spirit, right? You, and he was talking to you, but you couldn't hear him, right? So what Holy Spirit is showing you is that, and the fact that he was also pointing at the Bible is uh, signifies that you need to grow in your relationship with God, right? And so what Holy Spirit is, is showing me is that you're kind of in a plateau right now. You're kind of stagnant. Uh, as a Christian, right? But so it's really important that, you know, as a Christian, we keep learning and learning, you know, every day, right? Like it says in the word, we have to keep increasing our relationship uh, with God, right? We have to have less of us and more of him, right? Each and every day, right? And so what Holy Spirit is actually showing me through this dream and also just aside from this dream, what Holy Spirit is showing me is that you have to make sure you can't stay at a plateau. And by that, I mean, you can't be kind of like a lukewarm Christian, right? In the sense that you're very comfortable, you're not advancing, you know, and sometimes people, right? I'm not saying in your case, what I'm saying with other people, sometimes people will stay, you know, in the baby level Christian, right? For, for years. And so it's important, right, that we don't do that. We have to keep improving. We have to keep advancing with God and we have to keep learning. And one of the and one of the easiest ways to do that, right, to improve your relationship with God is actually to keep reading the Bible. Because at the end of the day, it is the word of God, right? And so, as, you know, the more that we read the Bible, the more that we actually fill our spirits, right? So going back to the dream, you said that it was actually really misty and foggy and you actually couldn't hear the boy that had the Bible in his hand. Right. And so I get that in the dream that the boy was actually a sig uh, signifying a Holy Spirit. Right. And he's and he is talking to you, but you're not listening. Right. And the fact that there was mist and fog, those are things that are uh, that are impeding you from from hearing God. Right. Not only, like I said at the beginning, with the with improving your relationship with Holy Spirit, right, getting to know him and not, you know, being comfortable in a state where you're like, no, I'm not going to learn anymore. I'm good. I'm kind of, you know, I'll go to church. I'm good. I just like to, you know, I'll, I'll go I'll participate, but I'm not going to. It's like, no, you have to keep improving, you know, your relationship with God. So what I get also is that the mist and fog, that's actually the enemy. So that's why it's really important that you keep improving your relationship with God, because the enemy doesn't want that for us. Right. He kind of wants us to be in limbo. Right. He wants to distract us from actually doing what we're supposed to do. So the enemy is always trying to impede what Holy Spirit is, you know, created us to do. Right. And so he wants. So the enemy doesn't want you to find out what your purpose is. You know, by that, I mean, your calling as well. And he's trying to impede you from actually advancing with God. Right. Because if you're not advancing with God and you're just at a comfortable place, like I said, a plateau. Right. You're not you're not, you know, going up the mountain, but you're just kind of just chilling there and you know halfway point so that's where the enemy wants you to be at the end of the day right and and so as christians it's always important that we keep improving our relationship with god we keep learning more of him and like i said you know less of us and more of god right so that's exactly what the dream is is saying but also at the end you saw you said that you saw a blood moon that's just signifying that so just like the word says right we don't know the time or, or day that Jesus is coming back, right? We don't know when that's happening, but we do know that we're in the end, you know, we're in the end times. I believe that. And so this isn't like a fear thing, right? You shouldn't be scared that Jesus is coming back. You should be, you know, celebrating. But you have to remember that, you know, when Jesus comes, we have to be with him, right? We have to make sure that we're doing what Holy Spirit has asked us to do, right? But just like the word says, right, even though we're, we should be happy that Jesus is coming back, it is a warning dream in the sense that, you know, the time is limited, right? You know, the, the, what, what God has created you to do, you know, there's a time frame, right, for that. And so you have to make sure that whatever God called you to do, you have to make sure that you know what it is and then accomplish it before Jesus comes back, right? And so that's what the dream is basically warning you about, right? That you have to improve your relationship with God. You should read the Bible, like I was saying. That you can actually ask God, show me what this means, right? As I'm reading the Bible, give me revelation, Holy Spirit, to understand your word, right? So just like the dream was saying, right? We do have a time frame, and we actually, it is, we're, we are in the end times, right? And so you have to make sure that you accomplish what Holy Spirit has called you to do before Jesus comes back, right? 
and and it's and it's key it's very important that we do that right because as christians we have to do what hot what holy spirit has called us to do all right so that was the interpretation of the dream i hope that this gives you insight on what holy spirit was trying to to show you right through the dream and uh, if you like the video, make sure to leave a like, share the video, hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you haven't, hit that notification bell so that you never miss a video. And for everyone else that's watching, if you guys would like to send me your dream so that I can interpret them, make sure to send it to me at my email, which is dreaminterpretation2020 at gmail.com. And like I said at the beginning, make sure to check that description down below because I actually have a checklist of what to include in your dream email. All right, so thanks for watching, everyone, and God bless.